Hello, it's a great pleasure to share some opinions with you. How to select a suitable blade and rubbers for your professional training. For your blade, there are usually two ways to make a judgment. First, the wood of the blade. By tapping the blade with your forefinger, you distinguish the blade sound, i.e. loud or crisp. To learn the quality by tapping the blade. Generally speaking, if the sound is relatively fragile, it means it's a hard type blade. If the sound is dull, it's a soft type. This is the first way to test. Second, get the blade's permeability and integrity by hitting your head with the handle. Let's make a test with the feather carbon blade. It's a softer version than the previous one, HC5S. Also, by observing the side of the blade, we can get each side's wood combination. Pure wood one side and carbon the other side. Let's tap and hear it sound. By observing the blade side, we can tell if it is with carbon or not, has big core or even structures, and so on. Tap in the wood, hitting handles for permeability and integrity. These are the methods to get the blade's characteristics. The general rules for blade and rubber combination is hard blade combined with soft rubber sponge. Soft blade is combined with hard rubber sponge. If you're a beginner and don't know how to choose a suitable blade, my advice for developing players is a balanced blade with sufficient speed and control but also not too hard. For example, the Fextra blade is very good. Forehand rubber recommended with Fextra is Target National. Backhand rubber is Tejai Plus. This combination could match skill improvement in a period of 8 to 12 months training cycle. Pistol Racket is a special blade. Very comfortable design for handle, matching with ergonomic design. The index finger can stay outside to offer support or come in. Pistol Racket's rubbers are specially designed with ITTF approval. Now Pistol Racket's is leading a new trend. If you're a hobby player just playing with your family, then you can choose the pre-made bats like Wall or Phoenix. No need for specially gluing rubber to blade. Nice qualities for social players. The next step is how to select suitable rubbers. Normally, the type of rubbers are short pimple, long pimple, anti-spin and pimple in rubbers. The pimple in rubber is most commonly used worldwide, so we take this for coaching. The pimple in rubber has two characters, sticky and unsticky. The sticky rubber can make good frictions to create strong spin for rebound. The unsticky rubber creates nice impact on the rebound. Friction and rebound create different ways of playing offensively. For quick counter-attack players, the unsticky rubber is better because it can offer smooth forehand and backhand conversion. Also for backhand, normally choose unsticky rubber. For forehand, normally choose sticky rubber to make looping easier. Sticky rubber produces strong frictions that creates heavy spin. For example, Target National is very good as the forehand rubber. Very easy to make fast loop back from the table. And Tejai Plus is more suitable as a backhand rubber. It offers nice defensive playing. As for the A plus lightweight rubber, it can be used on both sides for quick counter-attacking players. Great for making fabulous rebound loop. So for beginners who are not sure how to choose blade and rubber combination, Target National can be used as the forehand rubber with extra blade. According to your own backhand playing style, backhand rubber can be a plus lightweight or page I plus forehand plain looping attack backhand plain defense <laughs>